Hello dear students, how is your preparation for INICT? This video is to tell you how to approach the subject of biochemistry for INICT. There are some quite few students who would actually skip the whole subject of biochemistry because they might find it tough. You do not beat that kind of student. Why? Because biochemistry is technically an easy subject. It might feel difficult when the approach is wrong. but in the last 10 days, you cannot read the whole of biochemistry completely from the top to bottom. Instead, what you can do is read the most important topics that are essential for cracking INICT as an exam. What topics are they? Anything that is related to clinical conditions. For example, if you have a concept on inborn error of metabolism, there is a direct relationship between that of biochemistry and pediatrics or neonatology. At that point of time, read them properly. Why? For example, galactosemia hereditary fructose intolerance, sphingolipidosis, glycogen storage disorders, all these things are disorders due to metabolism and there is accumulation disorder or poor metabolic disorders. When you read them very well, you will be able to answer clinical questions of biochemistry or regular questions of pediatrics. Again, you have to remember molecular biology will always gain a lot of prevalence. Try to read something about each of the molecular biology technique and try to remember at least one line about what molecular biology technique that you are discussing about and what will you do with that particular technique. For example, fish. Fluorescence in situ hybridization is capable of hybridizing a small zone of the gene because of which you will be able to understand what is wrong in that gene. Okay, now when it comes to enzymology, you will be able to crack calculation-based question when it comes to kinetics. And remember to read properly about competitive, non-competitive and uncompetitive inhibition and how they actually have an impact on the KM value and the Vmax value. And try to learn about the examples in terms of enzyme inhibition, which kind of drug inhibits what kind of substrate in which kind of metabolism and what mode. All these things will definitely fetch you MCQs. And clinical enzymology where you try to learn about diagnostic enzymes, including non-enzymatic markers like troponin CT and I, they also can fetch you a lot of MCQs. But short, what you have to know is try to know the answers for all the questions of INICT that has ever been discussed in the last 10 years. Before three to four years, there were no INICT. Instead, you had individual institute exams like PJ Chandigarh, Nimans, Ames, Jigma. Now all the four have combined together to become one exam like INSAT. So try to have the questions from the last 10 years and try to know the answers at least for all the questions in the last 10 years. You will have a definite better edge than the other people. Past questions will definitely make an impact in your presentation in the current exams. Why? Because the concepts from which the questions have been raised are referred to as high yield concepts. Do not miss out on any of the previous question. Because there is a saying, in the Indian competitive exam scenario if you know all the past questions properly with their answers and explanations you are in the race it does not actually guarantee your seat but if you do not know any of the questions from the past you are out of the race already so remember to read all the questions from the past exams very clearly this will occupy 60 percent of your workload it will fetch you a lot of marks even with one mark extra than your competitor you will be able to jump ranks massively and if at all you can get a rank in INACT which is very decent enough you have a lot of AIMS institutions being opened. You have JIPMA, NIMANS and PJ where you can go for your PG. There is a very good chance you will get your seat in one of the areas even if the marks are not so bright. But if you get very good marks, your life will be fulfilling and colorful for the rest of your career. All the very best.